welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing our first video, which is a Q&A. Okay, so... You're going to read it? Yeah, we need to read Why did you guys break up? Okay, so the reason why we broke up is my fault. Okay, so we broke up because of me. And... Okay, so it was I got to high school. And I don't know, I, I guess... I changed somehow in a way so because people been telling me before I got there that I wasn't changed things are gonna happen whatever and so I got there and me and her were dating but me and her always constantly like kept on um, arguing. arguing fighting physically mentally through text every little thing bothered us and everything bothered her in, in some type of way yeah. and so I guess me since we always argue so much, since it was like, I guess you could say toxic. Yeah, just, it was really toxic. So. At the moment. Yeah, at the moment. So, I guess I started losing feelings for her or I just drifted away from her somehow because I got like overwhelmed with all the arguing, and, arguing fighting. and fighting and stuff. So, I guess just pushed <laughs> me away and then I ended up seeing this girl at my school that I liked, I guess, or Caught, was catching Phoenix for since I, I like sat next to her and I was talking to her or whatever and so yeah we broke up because I saw we, I started like losing feelings and I guess I just like someone else there what were your first impression of each other okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so my first impression of her me and her started off as friends and then we got to best friends and then, oh, how did it start? I, I, I remember. You. I don't know. Okay, my first impression of him was I found him attractive, cute, because I was a kid at that time. But me, you will never see me texting a boy this time. A boy has to text me to get me. So I texted him. Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> I texted him. Um, I was just like, oh, you're da 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 big brother. You're my uncle, da da da. He found it weird. Cause we had that, we were doing uh, like a fake family thing. How we, how people do back all like back uh, two then. years ago, back then. They probably still do, but like um, sixth graders. Yeah, thing. but like yeah, we had like a little fake family thing that we we did back then in middle and I school. I texted him, and me and him started texting, and then he posted "girl best friend needed." So I was like, why not? So I went ahead and I asked him if I could be his girl best friend. He said, yeah, sure, why not? We were best friends from there. I was catching feelings and no while me and him were texting. And then he had a girlfriend. And then when he broke up, me being the best friend I am was trying to be there for him. And someone was pushing me away, telling me, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you, being rude and being mean. But I always stay there people, for him. When people are like sad or something, they don't want to be bothered. You're the same way. Shut up. But okay, so that's her first impression, and my first impression of her, all I know is that I always tried, I was always nice to her, and I always tried, like, to try to, like, flirt with her type of way, I guess, but, like, m me back then, I was, like, nervous, I was, like, a nervous shy kid, and I didn't say much or do much, and I just, like, didn't really make a move, like, I didn't go up to her, didn't do anything physically or do a text, and... I just, we and her were just really close, and then I just started like, like, talking to her. I tried talking to her one day, and I tried to tell her. I think I tried to tell you happy birthday, right? Oh yeah. I tried to tell her happy birthday and lunch. And no, yeah, it was it in was, the morning. Was, it was a lunch though. It was right? in the morning when I was with Jackie. So it was breakfast. Yes. Yeah, so okay, breakfast, so breakfast. Cause you were with yourself. Whatever. Okay, but so it was breakfast, and she was in the, in the lunch room. And then she was leaving us, and I called her, and I said, happy birthday, and I yelled at her, I said, happy, happy birthday, and she didn't say nothing, and she, like, had, like, a little smirk, and just turned around, and just walked off, being a little nervous, why are we being nervous? But, I don't know, I just liked her, and she was, like, cute and stuff, I guess, back then, I, I thought she was cute, and all of that little lovey dovey stuff, you know, but, yeah, she still cute now. Hi, I met. How? Which oh, is basically yeah, the full story. Yeah, it's basically what we said for the second question. Me and her, 
um, never talked, but like since we had that little fake family thing, um, she had texted me through Instagram, and then we started texting, and that's when we started talking in person. I didn't so, even know he went to the same school. I never knew. Him. Well, you leave each other. <laughs> no. He says no. I know. But the known. the how many times he's been with the female when I was trying to get at him. I don't think so. I mean, I don't. I know. said no. I don't plan to leave him at the moment. At the moment, so you plan to do it later? No, <laughs> like I'm saying, at the moment, I don't feel like leaving you. And I, I don't know because, babe, you don't know what the future is gonna hold for us. So, but yeah, I don't plan leaving him. I don't know about him. That's him. Like I told him so many times, if he wants to leave, he can leave the doors open. Okay, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm the godmother, right? That's Danny, right? Daniela. Da Daniela. Yes, you're the godmother. So that's your answer. You're the godmother from her. What? What about me? Oh, Nate Na already knows that. She, she basically uh -huh. does with us. Hold up. But yeah, you're, you're the godmother. Yeah, so Daniela, that, that question is for you. Well, that answer is for you. It's, from a ye it's a yes from me and her. So, yeah. We already talked about it. Who made... Who's the most Who's clingy? most clingy? Okay, so me and her were discussing that earlier before we started the video. And who's most clingy is both it's kinda of both of us, but I feel like it's more her. Cause like whenever we're laying, she's always like like scratching my head or like or like telling me not to leave or like and then telling me to stay or whatever. And I end up do staying, so or not I don't end up staying, but like I end up staying longer and I end up putting her to sleep. So, yeah, I think she's more clingy, but we're both still clingy. Have y'all met y'all parents? Yeah, she met my mom, my, her, my mom and her are like really close. They always laugh and talk to, talk together, whatever. She don't talk to my dad that much. We have our reasons, but my dad's barely in my house sometimes. So like, they don't, I don't, I don't even want her talking to him anyways. I have my reasons, but. I met her mom like two um, years ago, like t like <laughs> like two years, two years ago. ago. My mom was a pain to him. I know that for a fact. But now they talked this year. My mom accepted him. Now they're getting along. They laugh now. They talk. <laughs> this one. Oh. I talk to everybody. I mean, like yeah, everybody he gets, here. So I get along with everybody. Yeah. Now so, the next step is my dad. <laughs> oh god. Okay, what's the eight no, no, the next one? When and where did y'all meet? School. When she was in six and I was in seventh grade. Right? Mm-hmm. And we met through Instagram. Thanks. Thank you, Instagram. Oh god. Hello. <laughs> How long y'all dated? Mm, basically we made when three years on the f October fifteenth. We basically made three years if we were like we were on and off, so uh, the, as the time, okay, so we started dating at 10, 10, October 15, 2016, and um, October 15, 2019 just passed, like, 10 days ago, or a couple, a couple days ago, and yeah, so it's basically three years and some days now. Well, What's the dumbest thing y'all argue about? <laughs> okay, we and her discussed about this not like a week ago, probably too. Okay, so okay, you say it. The dumbest thing we ever argue about was on his birthday. His mom, okay, we're all doing his birthday cake or whatever we're singing. After he blew his wishes, she was she was cutting the cake. And we should cut the cake. She told me to go get a piece. And I was like, no, thank you. And then he was getting up to go get a piece. And he was like, go get one, babe. Go get one. Shut up. Don't look at me like that. And then um, I didn't want to get one. And he started screaming at me. And I was like, just take me home. And he was like, okay, walk by yourself or whatever. So I left. And then we went to the stairs. And he started screaming at me because I didn't want to get a piece of cake. And then I, I don't know what's wrong with the little boy. Mm -hmm. 
were just stairs in the stairs for a while, and then we went back in, but then I didn't want the cake, so we didn't get it. So yeah, basically we argued about eating a piece of cake. Me getting a piece of cake. That was the dumbest thing we argued about. Have y'all ever cheated before? Okay, okay, this is on my part. I have cheated before, but I, even though I'm not, I have an excuse, it doesn't change the fact that I did. But okay, so my story was that um, long ago, a long like two years ago, like when the when was it like the first few months that we were dating? No, it was or the after first a month? year. It didn't feel like that. But I guess, uh, whatever she says, I guess it was a year, but it, I feel like, it felt like it was like two or three months. After um, a year, because I met um, Steve after. Like, okay. Anyways, um, I used to go outside a lot because I used to like be like energetic and I used to like um, go out and like go to like these complexes where I know where people live at and play like football like or like manhunt, tag, stuff like that. And... So, this one night, my friend ha um, has stepped over, my dog Abel. He's probably gonna see this, my dog Abel. Um, we had went to this um, complex, and we went to um, go, um, like, we went to go, like, uh, how do you say it? To go chill. And we were chilling, and then I ended up, like, playing, like, football, sports, stuff like that. And I knew these girls that lived there because we were friends for a little bit, for like a little while. And this one girl that I that I know, that we, we're kind of friends, we don't talk like that anymore, but um, she lived there and she always came outside and she, we, me and her would always talk and her twin sister, her older sister and all that. I used to be in, in their house, watch movies, whatever, do stuff in, 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 her, in their house. And so this one this one day or night we were um outside and we walked around me and her and then when we were walking around um I was gonna I was on my way home and I, w I was at the gate and me and my dog Abel and another another friend of mine was there. It was like three of us I think. I think it was three of us. And oh including my brother, so it was probably four of us. And we were leaving and then I had hugged her twin sister and hugged her older sister and I hugged her. And without them looking, I had like, I don't know what it was, but like when I hugged her, I had kissed her. And, oh no, yeah, I think, no, I, yeah, something like that, yeah. No, it's not even like that. He's, How do you know? Cause she told me the whole story. Okay, so, okay, so what? They were playing Truth or Dare and they dared him to kiss her but he didn't want to but when he was taking her home he had oh, yeah. asked her um can i kiss you or something like that and she was i don't know what she answered she i never said, asked her that i just yes. did and then i guess they, they both kissed kiss and someone. they pop kissed and yeah so, so basically i uh, i kissed the female but the thing was that he didn't know what was cheating. Me being, me being the innocent kind of type of kid, the young type of kid that doesn't date. Because she's the, only, the my realest relationship that I've been in, like, the, like before anyone at that time. She was my realest relationship. Or my, yeah, my realest relationship. All those other, the other females that I had dated, I don't even think I dated before her. Like, I remember I dated this female in fifth grade, and then uh, I dated my other ex before her. Them. Yeah, and she um, me and me and Giselle weren't even like serious like that, cause me and her already met that year, and I don't know, I, I don't know. we broke up for a stupid reason I think, I don't remember, I don't want, I don't care about it, but she was like the realest relationship. Okay, so we had to move over here, cause when we were making the video, her mom had came in, and like we didn't want to do it in front of her mom, cause she's gonna be talking to us, and um, whatever. Okay, so as I was saying, she was my realest relationship. That that so like I learned everything from her. I learned everything from being with her. So 
the reason, okay, so when I had cheated, I panicked. Like, when everybody told me that, like, after, when people told me that I cheated or whatever, I had panicked because I didn't know what I did. I was, like, I didn't even, like, I was screaming, like, not screaming, but, like, I was, like, stressed out. And I kept telling her, like, repeatedly and telling everybody else repeatedly that I didn't know that that was considered cheating. And everybody called me retarded, stupid, whatever, because I didn't, because, like, like they're, like, how do you not how you know what cheating is, blah, blah, whatever, stuff like that. Well, I didn't know what cheating was because... I wasn't in no real, real relationship until I met this one. This guy right here. Okay. But, yeah, so, like, that's... So, yeah, we, I cheated. She didn't. But I am. Or did you? <laughs> did I? Hmm, did I? Yeah. 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 So yeah, I did by accident, which I'm, that sounds kind of retarded now, when I know what cheating is, but, so yeah, I cheated, she, she didn't, so, yeah. How you been making her happy? How, that, how, how you been keeping her happy? Oh, okay, um, okay, so I've made, okay, so, obviously by her smiling, whatever, I make her happy, yeah, I okay. can I I don't even know how to how to explain that. I just <laughs> it's not he makes me happy. It's about his personality. Is how the little thing he does. He could say, say the, the dumbest thing. joke See, ever. This is what I got her. <laughs> She's part of the family now. He could say the dumbest joke ever where no one would laugh, but me, I would laugh to it because I don't know. I'll find it funny. I'm that type of girlfriend. I don't date you for your looks or anything or for your money. You could ask him how when he tells me he wants to buy me something, I tell him no because I don't go for your okay, money. Okay, and I tell you no, but I have to deal with it because you still do. Here, get it. But, I don't know, I make her happy by like... Every time I go to a store or buy food for me or something like that, I always think about her and I always get like her favorite things, which I'm not gonna say what it is because I'm only for me to know. So, because I'm gonna be the one that's always gonna buy her whatever. I buy her McDonald's, Burger King, what she likes, her favorite candies, her favorite drink, uh, her favorite chips. I do a lot of things, I do a lot of little things. And then when I have money, I always spend it on her, I order things for her. Yeah, she gets like, 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 um, like for her birthday, I had bought her like necklaces and stuff, which happened. bad things happened to it. Um, but yeah, I got like, I always like be playful with her, and then I always like tell her cute things. I always tell her I love her. I always show her that I love her. I always spend as much time as I can with her until I, until the end. I have to until I have to leave. And I don't know. I just. It's, it's just something that I'm good at, I guess, making her happy. I, I don't even try to make her happy, but I end up doing. Like, I post things about her, I post her, I say things to her, I treat her, like, good. I always, like a what? Yeah, like a queen. I treat her like a queen. A beautiful queen right here. Mm. A little, 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 little smile right here. Make her smile. But yeah, just make her happy and have different ways okay so this that's the end, of the, the end of the video i hope y'all liked it i know it was like probably like cringy whatever bad but as our first video we'll do better as we go on y'all like it y'all comment and, share and comment whatever y'all think we should do next for our next video we should do, be doing that like in a week maybe short shortly we'll let y'all know we'll probably we'll try to make try to make a schedule if not then we'll just do it like random times but we'll like post it on our story and or private or whatever or all of our accounts and we'll tell y'all that we're gonna be posting soon so y'all can come here and like it comment do whatever subscribe so that y'all know when our next video is out but all that and yeah that's the end of it bye, bye. hope y'all liked see it see y'all next video, video.